Well, as the four criminal cases for former President Donald Trump move forward, we're hearing from experts regarding new developments in some of those cases, as well as the 45th president himself. Steve King joins us from Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate on Palm Beach with what could come next in his criminal proceedings. Special counsel Jack Smith has filed for a gag order in the election subversion case in Washington, D.C. If the judge grants it, it could limit what former President Trump can say about that case. Right now we're hearing from former President Trump about not only that case, but all of his legal troubles. These are corrupt people that I'm dealing with. They're destroying our country. I don't even think about it. All I think about is making the country great, making America great. Look, these are political, these are banana republic indictments. These are third world indictments. Jack Smith and his team want to keep Trump from, quote, attacking prosecutors, the judge, or potential witnesses who may testify in his federal criminal trial related to his alleged effort to overturn his 2020 election. election loss. The judge is giving Trump's lawyers until September 25th to respond, and then the special counsel will have until September 30th to reply. But former Department of Justice Criminal Division senior trial attorney Richard Serafini says a possible gag order likely will not sway public opinion one way or the other. Folks who who are following the former president um, probably uh, believe, already believe, even without his postings, much of what he says. And there are a lot of people who are potential jurors and, um, and, and may become involved in the case who pay no, uh, absolutely no attention to uh, the former president's social media posts. Serafini says regardless of whether there's a gag order, the judge could call for Trump's presence at a special hearing regarding his comments. So that she can explain to him in case he has any lack of understanding as to what's allowed and what's not allowed. As for the Georgia election investigation, which has 19 defendants, including Trump, Serafini says the fact the judge approved the case being heard in at least two separate trials could benefit Trump's legal team. In general, I would say if you can, if you get a, if you get a, a dry run, or you get to see exactly what the uh, uh, the government's evidence is and what the witnesses look like and how they react, that's a uh, that's generally a pretty good thing from a defense perspective. Serafini also says Trump's legal team could soon file a motion to have Trump's Georgia election case moved from state court to federal court. Reporting on Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.